I know that I've kept you guys waiting entirely too long, but I have it here today. The best guard builds in each game mode. I typically do not give builds specifically for one game mode, but I realized that some guys really do only play one game mode, so they want a build that is meta for the game mode that they play. So I wanted to give you guys three individual builds that I believe are good. As the title alluded to, there's going to be one build for Pro-Am, one build for the Park, and one build for the Wreck three different builds in one video now by no means does this mean that i'm joining the dark side and i'm making a guard unless you guys want to see me do something like that and have gameplay on one or all of these builds let me know in the comment section down below if that's something you guys would like but be sure to like comment subscribe and let's get into it I'm going to be giving you guys the Pro-Am build first and they're all going to be point guard builds and they're all going to be made to tailor the specific meta of the game mode that I mentioned. This build is going to be 6 foot, it's going to be 180 pounds with a 6-1 wingspan. Obviously, the meta for the Pro-Am is to 3 hunt, that's why there's not a lot of finishing on this build. 3 hunting is the meta in Pro-Am. Therefore, I gave him a 74 driving layup. He gets 8 potential finishing badges. He still gets gold pro touch and gold giant slayer. And he can get both of those on gold with his 8 badges. I believe that's all you really need in the Pro-Am to be a point guard. Shooting wise, this build is going to be elite. He has an 81 mid range, but he has a 96 three point shot. Because he has a 96, he gets gold limitless range and he gets Hall of Fame Agent 3, two of the best shooting badges for guards. He also gets Hall of Fame Space Creator and Hall of Fame Green Machine if you want to put those on. He gets 27 shooting badges. Like I said, Three hunting is the meta when it comes to Pro-Am, and that's why his shooting is so ridiculously high. I gave him an 88 pass accuracy because in Pro-Am, especially Comp Pro-Am, you have to be able to throw quick dots to your teammates to get them open shots. And I believe the higher your pass accuracy, the better you do that. The ball handle is going to be a 90, and I'm not very, very familiar with guards, so I gave him a speed with ball at 76 because I've heard over and over again for the videos that I have watched that speed with ball is not that necessary to how you move but for the dribbling packages is a 76 speed with ball high enough let me know in the comment section down below but for now the 90 ball handle is what i went with i would advise you guys to put one extra badge point here so you guys can get hall of fame quick first step gold unpluckable clamp breaker and killer combos all in one you could also go with handles for days if you really feel like you need it but I believe all of those badges, and once you core one of those badges, you can also still get your handles for these. Defensively, you only have a 77 perimeter defense, but that's because the meta is that you're going to be sitting in the corner guarding a power forward that is spotting up. You do have a 95 steal. The reason you have a 95 steal is so you can get gold interceptor specifically so you can play those passing lanes. You could also put glove on if you want. You get 21 defensive badges. So if you core interceptor and you want to put glove on, more power to you. I believe off ball pest is also very useful. You get pick dodger, you get angle braces, you get a lot of good defensive badges. Again, from the research I've done, you don't need very high speed because you're going to be sitting corner guarding power forwards anyway, and it doesn't really help how you move on offense. So I gave you a 74 speed, you have an 87 acceleration, I only gave you a 44 vertical because you're not really a finisher, you're not going to need to be able to jump high. You also have a 95 stamina, so you don't probably need handles for days right away as long as you put your stamina all the way up. The takeovers that I chose for this build are Limitless Range and Pull-Up Precision. I'd probably switch them and make Pull-Up Precision your primary takeover. However, these are the two best takeovers for the meta way of playing in Pro-Am. 
The build name comes out to be a playmaking shot creator, which I believe is still meta for Pro Am. Now, let's get you guys into the next build in this video. This build right here is made specifically to play in the park. Again, every build is going to be a point guard. He's going to be 6'5. He's going to be 200 pounds with a 7'2 wingspan. This build is going to be a lot better finisher. I gave him an 85 close shot. The reason I gave him an 85 close shot is so he can get something like a gold fast twitch. And fast twitch is very underrated on guards because if you couple fast twitch with fearless finisher, it becomes extremely difficult for big men, especially ones that are recovering or ones that use the switch strategy and get to you late and meet you at the rim to actually meet you because you're getting your layup or dunk off so fast. He has an 80 driving layup and that allows him to get tier 2 layup packages such as the jelly layup package that are regarded as the next best to the long athlete layup package. He also gets a 93 driving dunk and I believe the most fun thing out there in the park is dunking on everyone getting clips of you dunking he also gets gold posterizer and gold limitless you could put extra badge points here and you get both of them at the same time or you could just hold off and have one at a time once you core one however slithery is also a very good finishing badge Shooting is pretty straightforward. He has an 85 three-point shot. I still don't think on the guard even you should put your mid-range too high. He still gets a silver mini magician just in case you want to practice those. But he also gets a Hall of Fame Space Creator Tier 2. And I do want to see how well Space Creator works on guards. I know it's pretty inconsistent on bigs. But that's from the perspective of not even having a ball handle. So I believe this is what your shooting should look like. The speed with ball is just going to be a theme here. I want you guys to know that. But you get a 75 pass accuracy so you can get the LeBron James pass package and you get an 87 ball handle so you can get gold quick first step, gold unpluggable, things like that to help you dribble. And I believe that this is a better investment in your extra badge points because if you put three extra on, you can get your gold clamp breaker and you can potentially get handles for days or killer combos or even mismatch expert to help you dunk on guys even more. You're going to be in a lot more on-ball defense situations. So I gave you an 86 perimeter defense so you can get gold challenger and silver clamps. You get 18 perimeter badges, so you'll probably only put one on anyway. But you also have an 85 steel. So if you want to, you could put on glove as well. And then once you core clamps or glove, then you could get one or the other. You also have the ability to get gold pick dodger. You get menace. You can get off-ball pest. The mid to low 70s is going to be a theme for the speed, you guys. I didn't say that in the last build. And 86 acceleration because, again, that's how you get past people. An 85 vertical so you can get every single dunk package aside from the big man contact dunks. And you also get an 87 stamina, which allows you to still be able to dribble around and find your shot. The takeovers are finishing moves and limitless range. In the park, you just want to be an offensive monster, and these two takeovers will allow you to do that. The name for this build is an inside out scorer, and you're flat out that a guy who can score inside out, get buckets in any way possible, and you still have pretty solid defense. Finishing up the list is my personal favorite, the Wreck build. He's going to be 6'3", 186 with a 6'9", wingspan. The close shot on this one's going to be a 76. He's going to have an 88 driving layup, only a 40 dunk. I know it's pretty low, but I don't think you need to be able to dunk to have a very good build. He has an 88 driving layup, which gives him the long athlete layup package, as well as the fact that since he gets 13 finishing badges, he can put on Fearless Finisher, Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, and Fast Twitch all together, which make it extremely difficult to stop him. 
Also, if you add a few extra badge points, at least two, you could also get Slithery Finisher on at least Bronze, which is another finishing badge, which is amazing. You can put all of these badges almost as high as possible. If you put three finishing badges on them, you can actually put all of those badges to the max level. I personally have never used a 90 plus three ball, but if I were to make a build, it will be this one with the 92 three ball because it does not take away from the build whatsoever. You get gold limitless range, gold agent threes, you have 23 shooting badges, and I would advise that you do put an extra badge point on here. This is where I actually would put the badge point on here to have 24 so you can have at least two gold badges or you can mix it up however you want, but I would say put at least one extra badge point on your shooting for sure. I would advise you to put your extra four badge points on to your playmaking and if you hit level 40 last season or at least 39 and you hit 39 this season, you should put five into your playmaking. Therefore, you can have Hall of Fame Quick First Step, Gold Unpluckable, Gold Clamp Breaker, and Gold Killer Combos if you want. You could also just not do that and put four on there and you would still be able to get all of those badges together but i'd advise you to have 25 at least so you can put all of those on at the same time and then again you could still core one of them and find a way to put your handles for days on you guys should know that i love defense this guy gets 25 defensive badges you get an 86 perimeter defense and a 99 steal that way you can still get again your gold challenger silver clamps i'm not even worried about those you get hall of fame glove hall of fame interceptor those are the two badges that i would personally put on you could even save a badge point an extra badge point and put both of them on at the same time i would advise to have one gold and one hall of fame until maybe next season when you're able to have everything that you need because you don't want to take away from your playmaking because your defense is already insane you also get tier 2 badges like Gold Pick Dodger and Gold Menace, which would make you a defensive monstrosity, and you're only 6 foot 3. The 68 defensive rebound also allows you to get a silver box out beast. And trust me, when you box out, if you can hold it, you can still get a lot of rebounds on this guard as well. This is one of the most complete players I've ever made. You get a 75 speed and 87 acceleration and 67 vertical because although you're going to be finishing, you're not going to be trying to dunk on everything so you don't need it too high and you still get a 90 stamina. The takeovers for this one are going to be angle breaking shots and extreme clamps. I also might say put extreme clamps first and put limitless range as one, but for now these are the takeovers. In this one, you see I got a Steph Curry comparison, and it has my favorite name, a two-way inside-out creator. Let me know if you guys want more guard-centered content. Let me know if you make one of these builds and how it works for you. Let me know if you want me to work on one of these builds and potentially play or show you gameplay with them. If you guys also like the longer videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, show some love, do something, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.